This conference will now be recorded. All right, so today is Tuesday, February 25th, and as always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. So we got a bunch of stuff going on out there this morning. Um, you know, not not as much as we saw yesterday, but you know, you know, it was funny because you know, Trade Station is it just didn't kind of make sense yesterday. We we saw so such huge volume that was coming into it, and it just didn't kind of look right, but it looks like things are back to normal coming into this morning. So first thing I'm going to be looking at is NIO. So we have a huge amount of buying that has been coming into this thing. Um, the one the one problem, and I just I hate hate situations like this because there is a ton of buying. And if we come back to the print, you can see right underneath this, the 525 level, we just had a huge amount, but five is just such it, such a psychological level. We see so many games that end up getting played there. So I would not be shocked to see us end up breaking below this five print line first, actually coming down to this orb before we would really get any type of move up. Now, obviously, you know, as we, you know, as we're looking into it and, you know, and as we get closer towards the open, we're going to see a lot more that, you know, that actually does come in, but we did have a bunch of ass prints at five. Um, didn't really pull back much. I'm not expecting a huge amount, um, but at the same time, it's just, it's that level. So, you know, these type of trades are, are a lot harder than something like, you know, for instance, if it was at, let's say like 340, that, that would, you know, that that's kind of a perfect case scenario. When we come up to these psychological levels, we're going to see a lot. Now, don't get me wrong. We have the buying. And if we look over here on the daily chart, obviously, you know, it, it took a big jump right now. Um, but you can see it's still kind of caught right here towards that top and really being able to break out above that 550. Uh, but we definitely do have that buying to be able to come into it. It's just really going to, you know, the, an entry right around the five level is always going to be a lot harder than, than pretty much almost anywhere else. Um, so just got to keep that in mind. But overall, we do see the buying that's coming in to tell us that we can break past this top. Um, I mean, you know, the, the actual number itself, the top, the high is 565. But, you know, 550 is really going to you know, have to be the price target just because it's going to show us a lot more uh, information to tell us, you know, what's going to happen. But overall, definitely does have that buying. So we're going to be watching that one pretty closely. Now, MNK. So MNK, we've... See, it's the same thing. Trade station has been a little bit slow this morning. But MNK coming in, we just saw at 580, we had a huge amount of refreshing that came in on the ask side of things. So I'm going to be expecting you know, us to, to pretty much kind of test this trigger right here, right before 550. But what I'm really going to be looking for is, as we can see right here, you see how we have... You know, we have higher lows that keep coming into it. And as we're coming back and it starts to pull back up, we're seeing that buying at those higher lows. Um, so, you know, definitely a great indication. We do have a little bit of buying above. It, it wasn't a huge amount. And it was just because it was so early and there just wasn't really that much volume. But there definitely is is some good volume. So a trigger towards that upside is definitely, you know, it, it's going to give us that high percentage. Uh, I, I just really wish that we would have been able to come up and actually give us some controlling prints at that 750. Because if we look, you get the high is 745, we end up triggering down. And as a, as about 98% of the time, we end up seeing that come back. But it's been holding within this consolidation, even, you know, even when it stops trading. And the volume's absolutely great. We have the buying. It's just really going to be that 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 trigger that comes in to show us, you know, that, that we could even push back up to that 750. But based off the range that we can see, even though it went up on low volume, there's going to be a lot more than 42 cents. So that's something that we certainly want to make sure that we have in our notes. Next thing is MRNA. So I just saw a local deal with the government. I, you know, that, that stuff, as you guys know, I don't really pay much attention to in the morning. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll read about it after, um, after the market's closed, but if you look right here, 2150, I, I was really impressed, especially if you know if you look at the actual time at 7:30 here. This was a very big position because if we come back up for the rest of the morning, it it doesn't give a ton of burst. But at the same time, 2150 came in and showed us selling there. So that selling is telling us that they're expecting to pull it back down first before they would be able to you know to come into anything and really start to build it up. So I'm going to have to expect a move towards that downside first because of the fact that the the the, the selling that the excuse me the buying that came in um, early this morning at 7:30 is telling us that that it's going to take a little bit longer remember as we get closer to the actual open of the market those prints actually you know they usually happen a lot quicker so that buying that came in at such a weird time um and and a lot to you know compared to everything else that we saw uh 
basically tells us that they, they're they looking up, but at the same time, this 2150, that story is telling us that we're going to be expecting that pull down to come in first. So pull down to build, and then obviously, you know, the prints to satisfy themselves once we get, uh, once, you know, once we get that pullback that comes back into it. Then another one is LL. So usually this would be on my side list, but you know, this morning, ah, you know, there's something that I like about it. Now it's the same type of deal as what we were talking about with NIO and you know being around that five level. Um, ten level is not a great level to be around. So the, most of the time, what we end up seeing is when something does first break above that, you know, uh, that that big of a psychological number, we end up seeing it come back. Okay, we end up seeing it pull back underneath. Now it is getting some buying up above, but just not really that much. So overall, I'm gonna have to be expecting that this thing ends up coming back down underneath that 10, unless we see something drastic change, okay? But as we get closer to the open of the market, we should see some selling that shows us that this thing is going to end up pulling back underneath the 10 and then end up coming back up. Um, abnormal volume coming into ER today. Let's take a look. That's the end of my list. Oh, earnings. Oh, in LL. <laughs> okay, of course. Yeah. So I mean, you know, it, it it's it's funny because it's a hard level to trade, but it's also a great level to trade because of the fact that we see, you know, when we come back above a ten level, the ten level is so hard to hold, even if we get a ton of buying that comes in. So when we don't see really anything, and we start to see these rider these 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 bid prints that start to come into them, you know, it really gives us a great opportunity for breaking back underneath that. So unless we see some type of different buying that comes in before 930, um, that's what my expectation is going to be. Yeah, so CLCP, I was looking at before. Oh, okay, it changed a little bit. Uh, you know what? It, it, it fits everything. I mean, it definitely has, you know, buying at two twice and, you know, and 100%. It's just very, very quanty looking. And, you know, on average, it trades eight cents. Obviously, this morning, it's trading a lot more and it's coming back up. Um, but at the same time, I just, nah, it's one of those things, you know, I'm just looking at it. I, I'm not the biggest fan at all. And the fact that, you know, when we did get that buying that came in at two, I haven't really seen much of a pullback come back down. I haven't really seen a, enough of, act, you know, some type of um, actual actual building that's coming into it now yes you know we definitely do you know right here we come back to this too and then 199 definitely a ballsy position uh, but this buying right here in my opinion looking at it it really only needs five to ten cents it it, it, really, it just isn't as much as i would like to see because if you look at these orders these orders are huge and it's just it's not as much as i would have expected that simple but definitely, I mean, you know, like I said, fits every single one of the criteria that we need for our morning list. Um, and it, 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 like I said, it does have that buying, but I just, I don't, I just don't see enough yet. So overall, definitely something to look at, but you know, it's going to be a little bit towards the, uh, the bottom of my list. So yeah, SPC, see, that's the thing. You know, what happens is that <laughs> is SPCE, you know, we've talked about it. We know what the story is. We, you know, we, We've seen, we do it every single day. In the morning, I try to find new stories because we come into SBCE. I'm gonna, am I gonna trade it because of the way that it moves? Absolutely. But there's just other stuff out there that's gonna be way easier, and there's way less that takes, you know, that that goes into actually being able to read what that story is. You know, is is especially you know based off of the fact that this thing has just been on a rampage. So, um, it, it's it's absolutely phenomenal. Definitely something that you know, if it's within your level, and make sure that you know that that's the, the the case is that it's within your level and if it is it's some it's an everyday stock right now i mean it's almost that simple all right but just be careful <laughs> that's, that's as much as i can say about it all right guys now anything else out there that i missed nope all right, beautiful. So remember, Traders Exchange at 1230. Let's make sure that we're focusing on our habits this morning. And I will talk to everyone in the chat. Happy trading.